There are a few things that are as hot as the used truck market in the last year. We're talking like five alarm fire, ghost pepper chili, Daisy Duke when I was just 14 years old kind of hot. It's no secret that the used truck market has been blowing up in the last few months and it can be really, really easy to see all those big numbers and you know maybe contemplate just selling your truck. But at the end of the day, does it make sense to do so? I'm Dustin, Dusty.co on Instagram, and in today's video, we're gonna get right into the whole world of this and get to the bottom of it to find out, is it worth it to sell your truck given the market? Let's get into it. Now, as we get into the nuts and bolts of this one, just like a Fastenal store, if you're looking for a set of wheels and tires for your truck, be that a brand new one that you just happen to pick up, or the old trusty classic, you can find them at customoffsets.com. Maybe it's a set of Archon Caesars in chrome like, you know, Daddy Lawson just picked up the other day, or maybe it's a BDS lift kit to make room for those bigger wheels and tires. Either way, regardless what you need, we got it. It's probably in stock, ready to ship to your door on the website. It's just that simple. Just do it. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button because, well, just do it. You know you want to. All right, into the video. So. Let's get this out of the way first, right? What the hell is going on in the used truck market right now? I saw an ad the other day for an LBC, pretty similar to mine, right? It was red truck, it was pretty clean, it had just over 100,000 miles, which is kind of low for an LBZ, but nothing super crazy. It was a crew cab, it had leather, no sunroof, because sunroof trucks are hard to find, but the dude wanted $40,000 for it. Now. I love a good sale as much as the next guy, and I love to make money as much as the next guy, but what the actual f Truth of the matter here is that the used truck market is quite literally on fire right now for a couple of reasons, but the number one reason is that new trucks are just, they're hard to come by. They're damn near impossible to get, right? Take a drive down to your local dealership lot and you're gonna see exactly what I'm talking about here. New trucks are almost non-existent and when you do happen to find a Chevy 1500 on the local sales lot, they want so much goddamn money for it that you'll have to refinance your house and sell them your leg at the same time. You know, get it, arm, cost you an arm and a leg. It's funny. The real issue here is not trucks themselves though. It's these itty bitty, teeny tiny little electronic things that we like to call microconductors. These microconductors are a small electrical piece that make up most of the computer boards inside of your brand new pickup. As you guys probably know, trucks are coming with more options than ever before. I mean, we're talking auto climate control, heated and cooled leather seats that also massage, moon roofs, 360 degree cameras, backup assists. I mean, the list just goes on and on and on. You can get all sorts of creature comforts and for every one of those super duper awesome little pieces of technology, you also need a computer chip to control it, right? That's just how it works. Because of things like massive delays in shipping supply chain and not being able to get stuff in general and that whole big boat thing that was wedged crossways in that Panama Canal, right? It's been tough to get these microconductors over the last 24 months. This has also caused new auto manufacturers to all but basically halt production. We're talking boneyards full of trucks, like rows and rows and rows of brand new F-150s or Rams or even Silverados that are just patiently waiting for their computer chips to be installed before they can actually go out to their new owners. It's actually a little bit eerie, honestly. It reminds me of something post-apocalyptic almost, where you just have all these trucks just sitting in this boneyard. It's crazy. Now, because new trucks are delayed and thus there's not a lot of them on dealer lots, dealers have been marking up used trucks left and right because, hey, if you can't buy a new one, then you might as well buy a good used truck, right? And while this seems like an all right deal for the dealership, right, they get to make a bunch of money on a used pickup truck, it also means that on the backside, dealers are paying more for their trade-ins, right? If they can sell it for more money, they give you a little more on trade, and then you're happy, they're happy, everyone's happy. But who's not happy are the people in private party sales because suddenly their trucks are just worth more as well. In a recent article I read, it said that used car prices and used vehicle prices in general are up 40% year over year. 40%, that's freaking insane. Now we understand the allure here of selling your truck and making a good chunk of change on it, right? Everyone likes to make a few bucks, put them back in your wallet, however, Here's where probably the biggest issue lays when it comes to selling your truck. If your truck is worth more, 
so is everybody else's. Meaning that all that extra money that you made on top of what you thought your truck was worth is gonna have to be reinvested into the next truck because that truck's also worth more. And really it just puts you no further ahead. This also assumes that you can find what you're looking for to begin with. Ask Lawson here. He just went on this like two month wild goose chase trying to find a power stroke before he inevitably found one out of Missouri and then bought it two days later, met the guy in the middle of a snow squall, if you know what the hell that is, drove it all the way back, and even then it wasn't exactly what he was looking for to begin with. With that being said though, what can you do if you'd wanna shake up your truck for the 2022 show season? Now, we may be biased here at Custom Offsets, but one of the biggest ways to shake up your truck, in our opinion, is a brand new set of wheels and tires which you can get from us, mount and balance shipped to your door for free. There it is. For example, right, if you're running a street tire like I was last year and you want a little bit more aggressive look, you can always swap to a mud tire to help give you that bigger, beefier, wider, and overall just tougher stance that you might be looking for. Or maybe it's a new set of wheels, like some chrome Lincolns or something. Regardless of which direction you go, either one is a solid option if you're looking to really take your build to that next level this year. Other things that you can do include paint matching things like bumpers or mirror caps or other body parts, new headlights from our friends over at Morimoto, which will shake up the front end of your truck and look good, and even, dare I say it, a new lift kit from our friends over at BDS because, well, BDS rocks. Not that I'm biased or anything because I might have a BDS kit on my truck, but hey, you know it is what it is. At the end of the day though, is it worth it to sell your truck? Like anything else, it really depends on your specific situation and you know what it is that you want next and just how hard it's going to be to find that said truck. But enough out of me, what do you guys think? Would you sell your truck? Did you sell your truck? Or are you not going to because, well, you don't wanna pay the money for a new one? Sound off down in the comments below and as always, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. With that, I'm Dustin Custom Offsets. We'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.